Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading. This is your love reading for the week of March 14th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Leo, and we are going to do a Celtic cross uh, for your love life. And that will be that here, Leo. Um, you have uh, definitely, this actually, <laughs> I'm not going to open my mouth yet, Leo, because I want to see where this is going. Very attractive at this time. Uh, a couple of people have had the Empress and the Queen of Wands, so I feel like, you know, it could be an attractive, seductive kind of time for everyone. So I would definitely get out there. Look at this. This is definitely love coming in for you. I do feel for, uh, you know, this could be a uh, Gemini that's coming in for a lot of you. Could be any sign, but Gemini stands out to me. Aquarius also stands out to me here. Um, could be any sign, like I said. Uh, in your current general energies, you have the Eight of Cups. Uh, some of you could be walking away from a connection. All fire signs keep getting this, <laughs> this whole like uh, walking away from a connection thing. So some of you could be walking away. For others, I feel like you're just not uh, kind of emotionally giving to something anymore. Uh, so you're like pulling away with this energy. It's really, I just feel like you're walking away basically. Uh, you have the Empress as your crossing energy. So seeing that there is abundance, I feel could be the thing that could be holding you back at this time. Needing to see the abundant opportunities that exist in love. If you want it, I feel like that's going to be uh, very important. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, uh, you show up here, Leo, in a very strong position. Again, you, sh you showed up as yourself in the first reading as well. So you're showing up in a very strong position as the King of Wands. The Four Swords is like a recovery or hoping to go through recovery. So I do feel like some of you are like going through a recovery at this time or you're hoping to recover maybe from uh, you know past hurts or past pain. And that's where I feel like your thoughts are at is on healing, on taking care of yourself, like all that other good stuff. Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the lovers. Uh, I actually love this because to me, it says you are, you know, obviously this is a, a love reading. And to me, this says you are tapped into love. <laughs> you are tapped into kind of like wanting a relationship, wanting a connection, all that other good stuff. I do feel like some of you are kind of at a crossroads where you're like trying to decide, do I allow love into my life? Do I you know, go towards something new? What do I do? Uh, even in the past, you have the magician. The magician can say that you are, it's kind of like you've learned a lot. He has mastery over all the tools that are on the table here. And really what's standing out to me intuitively is that I feel like you've learned a lot through multiple relationships. So now you have a pretty good tool belt you know, as far as love is concerned. So I do feel like it would be a good time for you to open up to new love, uh, especially if you are looking for it. Uh, in the area of the near future, here you go. Queen of Wands, very attractive at this time. You also have the king in the Queen of Wands. So this really tells me that there could be a divine counterpart uh, coming in for you here. Someone who makes you really happy. She is holding this sunflower and the sunflowers in the tarot uh, represent the sun. They represent happiness, enjoyment, you know, good, good energy, happy energy coming in for you. So I do feel there's like a lot of happiness, enjoyment, and like all those other good things coming in for you at this time. Uh, next, you have the world over the next few months. This just tells me, again, that you're getting out into the world. Even if we go this way right here, you know, maybe you've taken a break and now you're feeling more bold and assertive and you're going to be getting out into the world, <laughs> plain and simple. Uh, this is also you. You show up in this bottom corner of the world card. You had the world card in your first reading, and I said that you could be going through like a rebirth or a change. And if you are, that could be the thing that is inviting love back into your life. The thing is, I would also say, remember, um, in your first reading, I was saying that moving or traveling or anything like that could bring uh, additional benefits into your life. And one of those additional benefits could definitely be love. Uh, next, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is kind of like a rushing type of energy, but I would just say that for some of you, I feel like this is a person that's rushing into your life. It could be through friends, you know, and I, I kind of see it from both sides for you. Some of you, you might be moving or traveling and maybe just a, you know, a per you make new friends and it's like a new friend that is rushing into your life here for love. Uh, for others, I feel like it could be someone who's already kind of like in your friend group. And I do feel like it could be an air sign. It could be someone who has a lot of air in their chart in general. Uh, next, you have the star. The star is a card of happiness. It is a card of healing and kind of resting, relaxing, and all that other good stuff. But 
It is also a card of kind of healing and it's also a card of attention is where I was going for this. And again, every single person that I've read for like this week has had something about needing to get attention to get love in their life. So if you want love, I would definitely uh, do your best to get as much attention as you possibly can, um, especially with this card here. I feel like it'll just lead to a better love outcome. And uh, your outcome is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups definitely represents love, represents a soulmate. Again, we have divine counterparts here, King and Queen of, Cup, uh, Queen of Wands. And uh, it doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to either. This is just the energy around the connection. Uh, the Two of Cups is a card of like attracting a person who is very different than your usual type. These people are meant to look different. They are meant to look like two totally different people. So I feel you could be attracting a person who's much, much different than what you usually go for or is just different than your usual type with this Two of Cups. Could also be with the world here. Could also be a person, uh, sorry, <laughs> could also be a person who's coming from like a long, long distance as well with that world card or could be like traveling. Uh, we're gonna pull some Oracle cards here. Um, you have this bad health card. I, I, you know, these cards are a little negative. So again, take it how it resonates. I would definitely, I'm not a doctor. Do not take it as medical advice. I would watch your health at this time. Let's see what the next card is. Yeah, you have this occupation card. Some of you could be working very hard at this time as well. So again, I would just make time. I would make sure to make time for love if you want it. Which again, you're watching a love reading, so obviously you want it. Um, you also have this purse card that says, pay attention to your finances. Some of you definitely, maybe that's why you're working hard or harder is to create better finances. You also have this fair woman card that says, dealings or relationships uh, with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Again, it could be any gender. This is a general reading. So take it how it resonates. Uh, with the Empress and the Eight of Cups, you have the Ace of Swords. Definitely a victory coming in for you. Uh, the Ace of Swords can also represent balance returning to your life. The Ace of Swords, normally there are six golden yods on both sides of the card, and it just represents things happening in balance or balance returning to your life. So I feel like there is just balance kind of returning here. Uh, with the King of Wands and the Four of Swords, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Love it. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is an amazing card. Ten of Pentacles to me is the best love card in the deck um, because Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in a connection. It is like, you know, the tree of life normally on the Ten of Pentacles. So it can represent like happy home, happy family. Uh, normally there is a family on the card and it can represent building or leaving a legacy. So if you're looking for something long-term, it definitely seems to me like a, something long-term is coming in for you. Uh, with the lovers, you have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a card of adventure. <laughs> so I feel like if you all want love, you're gonna have to go on adventure. I would also say be more spontaneous. I feel like the danger in love right now, especially with the astrology, is is coming up with a love story before it happens. You know, like thinking that a relationship has to go a certain way. I don't think the Knight of Wands says, you know, just be, you know, just be like, you know, b blowing with the wind, not caring. But, um, you know, I do feel like the Knight of Wands sometimes just says, like, enjoy the adventure, enjoy the mystery, enjoy the learning of a new person. Don't try to, like, say everything has to go this way for it to be perfect, you know? I'd be careful of that. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is, again, is the juice worth the squeeze? So normally there's a guy looking at the Seven Pentacles and he's just saying, like, do I want to keep investing in this situation or am I ready for something new? Am I, am I ready to do something different? Am I ready to, you know, move on to something else? And so for some of you, I feel like this is saying you are ready to move on. You're ready to move on to a new beginning in love. And, you know, that, that's pretty much that. With the world, you have the Page of Wands. There you go. Page of Wands is the card of adventure. I'm telling you right now, if you're going on adventure, if you're moving, definitely could be love. Again, you don't have to be making that big of a change either. I mean, if you're, you know, maybe you're changing jobs. I always use the example, maybe you're going to a different story, store. You know, maybe you go to one store every single day and you go to a different one to do your shopping. It's like anything that could be an adventure for you, uh, could lead lo in to love in your life. Again, you have the world in your first reading. You're clearly kind of like in the squeeze at this time. Uh, you know, so I always feel with the world, sometimes we can feel uncomfortable, with, but things are actually improving with the world card, even though it doesn't seem like it because we're in the squeeze. We're being pushed through a portal. And that's what this looks like to me. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I, for some of you, I feel like there's someone very close to you who definitely has a, attraction for you with the Ace of Wands. Uh, if it's, it, it could be the other way around as well. Uh, you know, I feel like some of you could have attraction to a person. Uh, I feel like there's mutual attraction. For some of you, uh, I, <laughs> I kind of feel like there's a person you're attracted to who you haven't talked to ever. And 
So it's like maybe there's a person at work that you don't really talk to or a friend that you don't, or you know, a person in your friend group or something. And I feel like there's mutual, tra- there will be mutual attraction there. So um, I would definitely say go for it. With the star, you have the emperor. Do you have the empress here? No, but you have the emperor with the star card. The emperor is about kind of like taking action. The emperor is ready to go at any moment. He's ready to take action, you know, at the drop of a hat. So I feel if someone is approaching you or, you know, coming towards you, it kind of says accept the opportunity. Um, the emperor, he is just always ready to go. He, he is kind of sitting there in his throne. He's, he's chilling, but he's always ready for something when it comes his way. And with the two of cups, you have the six of wands. Definitely a lot of success coming in for you. I kind of feel like people, you know, the six of wands can be a card of jealousy. There's normally a person on the six of cups that is like jealous of the person on the horse. So you might be getting into a relationship that like other people are jealous of, you know, that other people are kind of like, wow, that's a really good relationship. So uh, this is definitely a good love reading for you here, Leo. Uh, It's pretty simple. Um, You know, again, no, no reason to overcomplicate it. I feel that some of you are just like attracting a new person into your life and they're going to be coming in through some sort of change. So again, if you're looking for love, I would make a change. Maybe go to like a certain gym go to a different gym. You never know. You might find a person. If you go to the same store, every time you go shopping, go to a different one. Maybe you get hit on by someone you really like, right? So, uh, it, you know, that's for those of you that like aren't already moving, traveling, or doing something like that. Um, but looks really good. So thank you for being here, Leo. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising. Also, the weekly general reading is in the pinned comment down below.